I just received my Cabine Tree lead hardness tester and this is what came in the box. I wanted to um, make a video about it. So these are the various components. This is the main unit. This is the dial indicator. This is the little armature that holds the dial indicator. And these are evidently parts for other purposes because I ordered the multi-purpose tester. I haven't really looked into that yet, but I figured if I'm going to buy it, I might as well buy the full featured one. The way this goes together, according to the instructions, is your dial indicator here which when this gets moved you can see the dial indicator makes its reading so there's a mount on the back of it Now there's a hole in the end here that this slides into and a locking screw. So when I slide that in, there's a small indention or depression in the end of this bolt. And the instructions say to have the little point here of the dial indicator touching in the center of that and slightly depressed. See how there is a little bit of load put on that? So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now you can see, now that I've done that, my dial indicator has moved a little bit, but you can adjust it by loosening this and turning your zero. where the needle is. So I've got my zero. So evidently the way this works is when you put your sample in here and you turn this, this point presses into the sample and it'll sink into it, you know, make a depression depending on the hardness. And as a result of the force, this spring and bolt will get depressed. When it's pushed, it pushes on your dial indicator and takes a reading. The instructions say to basically put your sample in, rotate this until it's touching the sample. Well, I'll read it here. It says, um,
run the screw point until it just touches the sample. And it says it should be on a flat surface. After the point just touches the sample, note the exact pointer mark, which there's a little rod here, and there's markings all and numbers all around this bolt head, so you can take a look and see where you are for a reference. And then it says, rotate the screw exactly one turn and read the indicator. So as I take that, I would turn this until it touches the sample, take a reading, here I'm right on three, and then I would rotate this one time, so I'm right on three again, and read that. So let's give it a shot. I've got a large wheel weight here. Nice flat. I chose this one because it's flat on both sides. Okay, so that's just touching. Just barely touching. And it looks like my marker here. See, it's got this little guy. You can use it to take your reference. So I'm going to go one full turn and read the dial indicator. And it says 75. I'm going to try to take another shot of doing a reading up close. As you can see, I've taken five readings on the back, two on the front. So I'm going to try another one on the front because I'm running out of space on the back. So I'm turning this. Okay, it's just touching. See it's loose in there. So I'm going to do my one full turn. And then I take it off. That's it.